Welcome everybody. It is Snake Music Reviews and we have a new review for you this Friday. Now, this is very special because one, I have a snake that I haven't shown on the channel much. Name is Elsa. She is a lesser ball python. So we're going to do a little intro of Elsa. She's also my most shyest snake. Every time I pull her out, um, she usually hides her face and she might hide, hide her face while we're doing this video. Um, it's ball up into a ball. We're going to see how she acts because she's not used to the spotlight like everybody else. But I love the colors on her. Lessers are so dope. Anyways, so this is her first time on Snake Cinema Music Reviews. And this is also a first time because this is our first requested video. Requested review. And this was requested by my good buddy, um, Clay. And he uh, told me to check out this album, My Morning Jacket. Um, I do listen to rock music, but I'm not a big rock finishado. I'm not a big indie rock um, um, expert. You know, there's certain bands I love and certain bands that I've only heard of but never quite listened. And so this is the first full album that I, of this band that I've ever like listened to. And we're going to talk about it. So My Morning Jacket dropped an album maybe a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, because I don't do these reviews the day they drop it. Um, and it's uh, called The Waterfall 2. So there is another previous album called The Waterfall 1 that I need to check out or just the playing the waterfall that I need to check out. And he said there's some other stuff I need to check out. So I will be checking those out in future videos. But for right now, what did I think for my first ever My Morning Jacket review of The Waterfall 2? Uh, before I say whether I liked it or I, or I hate it, I just want to give a brief description of what I felt initially upon first listen. So I listened to it and you know the first two tracks played and the f don't take this the wrong way don't take this as a slight because it's not it's not a dig or a shade when i first heard the first two tracks um i believe let's see make sure i get it right um spinning my wheels and still thinking first thing i thought off the top of my head is this is music i hear in the coffee shop and you know not starbucks but you know the mom and pop coffee shops like my favorite coffee shop rest in peace is bell tower i think they shut down due to covid um and this would be the music that they would play and i was like okay okay it makes me like it makes me feel like the like the first two the reason why i'm saying this for the first two songs because this is my initial thoughts i was like you know, it makes me feel like I want to pull my laptop out, edit some videos, edit some photos, and drink my favorite coffee. That's what it felt like. It felt so good, so calm, so at peace. Um, um, and also, <laughs> it felt very hippie-ish, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, but I like that. So it's like, okay, I can dig, I can dig. And then... Climbing the Ladder came on, and then Feel You came on, and I was like, okay, this is something totally different than what I thought. <laughs> and like I said, when I say I got that coffee shop feel, it's not a slight, it's not a dig, it's actually positive because I always hang out at coffee shops. And I love, and most music that I discovered last year in 2019, it was at the coffee shop. Like, I would be on my laptop, minding my own business, listen to a podcast or something, and then I just hear... A note or I hear a lyric in the background like yo what the hell is this and I'll go to the worker who were who's making a coffee I'm like yo what you playing on your Spotify or whatever and they'll tell me the artist and song and I'll immediately go back to my laptop and add that to my playlist or, or download off YouTube I'm gonna be honest with y'all uh, <laughs> and and that's the feel I got listeners I was like okay I can dig this music this, this is a good band this is pretty cool and then um and then I remember Clay specifically asking me to listen to Magic Bullet and Wasted. So after I listened to the first three songs, I said, okay, let's skip a couple of tracks and let's go to the two that he told me to listen to. Boy, 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 Clay, 
you know me. You know me very well. You know me more than I know myself. Because I never thought that I would listen to two My Morning Jacket songs and just immediately fall in love. <laughs> like, let's talk about Wasted. Wasted? Ooh, wee. Wasted has to be one of the best songs that, of 2020. I'm just saying. That's rock, hip hop, R&B, gospel, EDM. I've listened to so much new music in 2020. Wasted is the best song of the year. It's going to be my top song of the year. I don't give a fuck what the Grammy say or anybody else. Wasted by My Morning Jacket is the best. It's my favorite song of 2020. Um, first of all, I miss long ass songs. This song is six minutes long and it's worth every penny. I would pay for Wasted. I would pay $1.99 or $2.99 off of Google Play or off of iTunes or whatever for it. This, this I love long songs. In today's era, everybody wants to give us two minutes and 30 seconds and call it a day. And I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of you lazy artists not giving us long music. Music and music that's worth being long. This song for six minutes, I was I was given life. Like they my morning jacket slapped me in the fucking face with wasted. Cause they got me in the beginning with the dur -dur -dur -dur, you know the little chords, that guitar. I was like, okay, okay, you giving me some dead or alive from Bon Jovi feels with that like dur -dur -dur. I'm like, okay. Okay, and then they start singing, and I love the voice. It's like wasted. Like their their, their vocals, I was like, shit. It is so fucking good. And then, you know, I'm jamming. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. And then after two minutes, I had to look at my at my thing. After two minutes and thirty some seconds, they switched the music on us. Like. It was like, we doing something totally different. We doing a whole new song on y'all asses. Um, and then it went to an entire, the rest of the song, just music. No lyrics. After two minutes and 30 seconds, they said, fuck singing. Y'all got what we trying to say. We finna just play for y'all. This song, we need to see this song live. I need for concerts to come back because that song needs to be played live like they said fuck singing we's about to give y'all just straight music we about to give y'all pianos we about to give y'all guitars y'all about to love this shit and they play and everything changed the solos the guitar solos and the music break i was just like oh. What the fuck am I listening to? This is so great. Like, <sighs> the music lover in me was awakened by that song. <laughs> like, immediately, I was just like, wow, this is crazy. They, they gave me life. They gave me life with Wasted. I said, okay, y'all got me, my morning jacket. Y'all got my, you got, y'all got my ass with the six minute long song with the music break, with the guitars and the piano. Let's see what Magic Bullet is. Magic Bullet. Magic Bullet was another long song, five minutes. I love long songs. And this album is not long. It is like 36 minutes to uh, total of 10 songs, 10 tracks. Well, not 36 minutes, probably like 40. Yeah, probably about 40 minutes, 46 minutes, 10 songs. And it was beautiful. Like, they didn't give me two minute tracks. They didn't give me one minute tracks. They gave us music, like back in the fucking day, like the 80s, like the early 90s and the early 2000s, where artists actually gave a fuck about. The stuff they were creating. They weren't just on their laptops. Oh, let me just do this. Beep, beep, beep. Add a beat. Do, 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 do that. And give it to y'all call a day. Like, no. This is musicianship. This is art. And Magic Bullet. Woo. Y'all did that shit. Y'all did it. What other top tracks I liked on this album? Because, um, like I said, it's just 10 songs on this album. And I liked a good eight of them. 
Like they're already on my playlist and in my rotations. Um, feel you. I love feel you. Feel you. Feel you is my is in my bag. That's my mood. That's my that's my love mood. That's my mood, man. I love feel you. Um, run it was great. The first time was great. A, a bunch of these. Those were my top songs. Wasted, Magic Bullet, Fool You, Run It. The first time. Those were my top tracks. Um, but of course, I love some more stuff on there. But yeah. For this to be my very first My Morning Jacket listen, I loved it. 10 out of 10. Like I said, Wasted is my song of the year. And all the tracks that I've listened to, all the genres that I've listened to, Wasted is my shit. That alone made this a top album. But the rest of the songs they did were just as great. Um, and so, yeah, that, this was an amazing song. I'm so glad that... Clay requested this to me and told me to check it out. Like, I want to see this band live. And I'm going back to their older catalog that I have missed all these years. Like, this band has been out for a minute and I, and it's 2020 and I'm just now discovering them. Now, granted, you know, I'm an EDM head, I'm an R&B head, so a lot of great artists are going to zoom past me for some years until somebody let me know to check them out. And so, yeah, man, I want to see these guys live in concert. I need for concerts to start back. I need for the world to go back to normal because I want to see them live. I need them to come to Memphis so I can jam. So I can cry on Magic Bullet and cry on Feel You and get my life and probably cry on Wasted. But definitely, I'm going to get my life. I'm just going to be jamming and wilding out and wasted. I need to see this shit live. I need to listen to the rest of their catalogs, their older stuff. If the Waterfall 2 is this amazing, I, I need to see what the Waterfall got to say. What does the Waterfall got to tell me the very first one? The first Waterfall. Because uh, this, this was amazing. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I love this music so much. Especially with, if you watched last week's video where I was highly disappointed because a certain rapper like fucked up a totally great EDM R&B song. You know, I was heartbroken last week. But this, this, this got me back in my I love music bag. This got me back in my, okay, not everybody is a piece of trash that's in the music industry. This got me to, hey, people actually care about fucking art. People actually care about instruments. People actually care about lyrics. People actually care about, you know, creating great content. So, not all is lost. I haven't given up on the music industry as a whole because there are still great, amazing artists out there who I just don't know about or maybe hasn't been getting the recognition they deserve because all people celebrate nowadays are trash. Um... And controversies, people care more about an artist's controversy than they do their art. And the artists are now only caring about their controversies more than their art. So, it's great to have musicians, bands, singers, like my morning jacket, like others that came out this year, Chloe and Halle, Lady Gaga. But there's still people here who actually care about the music and care about their talent and not trying to get rich and famous off clout and scandals and let me quit ranting because this is not the video for that clay did not request a rant sorry clay I, you did not request a rant you, you requested an album review and i'm ranting again fuck you kanye thank you my morning jacket great album i'm gonna go listen to some more of they shit and i will catch you guys on the next review like, comment, subscribe tell me have are you a my morning jacket fan have you listened to their album if you haven't Get off this. Go listen to their music. It is amazing. Hope is not lost. There are great musicians out there in the world who actually care about the craft. And so, yeah, I suggest this. I suggest The Waterfall 2. Spotify, Apple, Amazon, wherever you get your music, go. Download now. Um, that is it. Snake Center Re Reviews. I'm Prince Elias. This is Elsa, and we will check y'all later in the next review. Bye.